Hey dear friends, how are you? You are doing great. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Chris as always. And today we are going to talk about how to install Git on Windows 10. The Git facilitates our works while we are doing our projects, for especially the programming projects. And it can help us to manage all the changes and all the versions that we can make on our project. And it can also help us to push or pull project from the GitHub server and can perform all other bunch of things so without further ado let's go ahead and see how we can download this one and install it and i will show you the fun things that you can do using this git okay let me go ahead and open my favorite browser like this one and what i'm going to do i'm going to go ahead and type git brush like this and i will press enter and the first link that will come will be from git hyphen scm and I'm going to go ahead and click on this first link that you can see here. Uh, when you click on here, it will bring it, those, this interface. And it will have uh, the versions for Mac OS, for Windows, and for Linux. And you don't need to install this on Mac OS or Linux, but on Windows, we have to install this one. The reason why we don't need to install Git on our, our, on our Mac OS or Linux is, is, is because that this will have a terminal that you can use to learn like some commands that we will see in a bit. And I will show you how this will work when we try to bring the same concept in Windows. So go ahead and choose the Windows because I'm using Windows this time and uh, it, it will show me all this one and i'm going to go ahead and wait for this to be uh, downloaded and i will show you how to install it so let's wait for this all right once this download is complete you're going to install the installation is pretty f straightforward and it is not that hard so i'm going to open my setup and uh let me accept this and i will min minimize my chrome so to have a clean workspace to see what's going on here guys and it will be uh, like this one the first thing that it will bring is this license so you can go ahead and lead if you have time to see what it means but in this case let's go ahead and press on next and this will be the installation for the way it will be installed on our hard disk and to take like a uh, 261 megabytes uh, on our disk space and it is uh, letting you know the space that it will require and by default this will be the folder i don't have to change this one but if you have a specific folder where you put all your things you can go ahead and change it from here when you go on browse you can browse your file system to change but i'm going to leave the defaults go ahead and press on next again and you will see all these checked and all these unchecked uh, i'm going to to add this on desktop and i will go and check here for additional icons and go ahead and press next in this case uh, for the start menu uh, leave it as it is or two go ahead and press next and you have to press next again and they will be the adjusting the name of initial branch in, in your repositories and I, I will have to leave this uh, for the git to decide go ahead and press next again and i'm going to go ahead and choose this recommended one and press next again and next and the next again next and next go ahead and click next 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 and go ahead and press next leave the, those as they are and i'm going to go ahead and press on install and wait for a couple of seconds for this to be done right cool now you see that the setup is complete the wizard is complete go ahead and uncheck this to view the list note i don't have to view that go ahead and click on finish and when you look on the desktop you will see that the git bash is now here you can go ahead and open it from here but let's show you uh, some uh, cool th thing i like about this one when you try to create a new folder for example let me call this um my codes like this after i create that folder when i try to enter in it and i do light click i can see that i can open the git gui or bash here so let me go ahead and click on open a uh, bash here and what it will do it will bring this one pretty much the same like the linux uh, uh, terminal when i try to type errors you can see that i can change the directory to where you want to go for example i want to go on my desktop 
and uh, okay i would have to put like this and now i'm on my desktop i can use for example i uh, make there and i uh, choose for example my repo right and when you try to make rs on my desktop i can see that my repo is here and i can see all other things on my desktop and pretty much the same i can go ahead and uh, be able to cr to create any file for example let me go in my repository folder uh my repo uh for example let me do like this one uh i'm on my on my desktop cd my repo i type the typo my repo like this and inside my repo i can attach a file for example touch um index at for example index.php and when i try to press enter and try to list the content of my brush uh, or the content of my my repo i can see that the file that is called index.php is now here and to manage um all those files you can also install the vs code in this case i don't have it opened and installed i can go ahead and install it so let me go ahead and search for the vs code and i will install it too and the first link that will come will be from code.visualstudio.com and i'm going to go ahead and click on the first link that i will see here and i'm going to download the stable breed uh, which is now the stable one for download go ahead and click on this uh, button and it will start downloading let's wait for it to be downloaded all right once this is complete i'm going to go ahead and open these two and minimize the uh, chrome browser so i'm going to accept the license agreement next and next again next and create the desktop icon next install and we wait for a couple of seconds for this to ensure it, for this instruction to be done and it will not take much time all right and there will be this launch icon uh, launch checkbox i'm going to uncheck this and click on finish and once we are now done you can go ahead and open our vs code from here and we can manipulate our file to however we, we want because we have installed our git and once this is opened yeah, i'm going to choose the dark mode that's what i like to use and once i have now successfully changed my dark into my dark mode i'm going to go ahead and drag my lipo on here okay so let's go ahead and drag my lipo here in this case i'm in here right i trust the authors and you can see now this is the index.php file that i previously made and when i try to put for example um some sample codes here for example let me type for example php and i can close like from here and i can pre echo for example uh, please subscribe subscribe like this and i try to save this you can see that my lepo has now one file but i can go ahead and t uh, create another file for from here i can go ahead and type for example touch um login dot php all right when when we come back in my vs code you can see now the login is here and you can do the pretty much the same for example i can say for example uh sign out or log out uh logout.php and the file will be also here and you can have the fun around using this git there is a bunch of tutorials on how to use the git and the github in context and i will show you all the tutorials in the coming videos on how to use git to pull to push the files from server and all other interesting stuffs this was uh, all about installing the git in itself only and i don't want to make this video so long and i hope you guys you find this video very interesting and you have g got a, a glimpse on how this thing work and you, i will see you guys in the next one when i will try to teach you on how to use the git and github in context and don't leave without helping me to, without helping me to grow my channel by clicking the like button and if you are coming on the channel for the first time make sure to subscribe once it's free and turn on the bell icon to get a notification 
while I make a video and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.